Hey guys! Welcome to this review of EVH5153 LBX amp. If you want to hear more about it, stick around for the second half of the video, but otherwise, here's a new original song with all the guitar tones recorded exclusively with this amp. Here we go! turned out pretty decent. In fact, I didn't even use my trusty precision drive. Just the amp and some post key on the guitars. Also, I should mention that to record this, I've been using Impulse's form Lancaster Audio, since, well, I'm not equipped to record a cabinet, and not that I own one anyway. But before I talk specifics, here's how this amp actually sounds on its own in different settings, with and without post key. I must say, I'm kind of impressed how it sounds considering the size of this amp. It's all tube and just 15 watts, but still packs in quite a punch. Which is not actually that surprising. It has two EL84 power tubes and a whopping 5 ECC83 aka 12AX7 preamp tubes. That explains the amazing high gain tone which this thing can achieve. This amp has two channels, a blue crunch channel and a red full burn channel which, after playing around with it, I started calling high-gain and higher gain channels, respectively. But I should also mention that it doesn't have a clean channel at all. Not that it needs one anyway. 
I'd rather do one thing well than be mediocre at several. You can still get a clean sound from it by turning down the gain to the minimum and reducing the volume on your guitar, but I would not recommend this workaround. So that covers the hardware, let's talk about externals. The front panel has, from left to right, an input jack, channel select switch, gain knob, the usual low, mid and high tone controls, volume knob and a presence knob, along with a big red power indicator. Moving on to the back, we have power input and easy access to the fuse, power and standby switches, a quarter power switch for a more silent operation when using a cabinet, effects loop, jack for a foot switch, which is included by the way, resonance control to fine-tune the low-end response of the power section, impedance selector, and finally a speaker out. So overall, the EDH5153 LBX is a lot of power in a small package, and it will definitely be my main guitar amp for the foreseeable future. But in any case, I hope you enjoyed this little review. The links to this song are as usual down in the description, along with the links to all my social media. Please like, share, subscribe, click the bell, and until next video, Axion, signing off! See ya!